So I had a dilemma. How was it going to remix my own song? Well, I like to believe that as a producer, you can hear a song produced in many different ways. My song, Acceptable to You, was originally done in a dance rock kind of style. And I really wanted to do something dramatically different for my own remix. Now, I'd already gotten three other remixers involved. I got Grammy-nominated remixer, Mike Rizzo. I also got DJ Skeet Skeet, and Skeet is amazing. He is the DJ on tour right now with Katy Perry. And then I also got a UK phenomenon, this guy, Liam Keegan. So when trying to figure out what I wanted to do, I thought, you know, I really should go back and study the origins of where remixes came from. Genuinely was surprised to find out um, who was attributed to the original remix. An American record producer named Tom Moulton is considered to be the founder of the remix. And he started by making mixtapes uh, for the Fire Island Pines in the late 1960s. And as some of you may know, I DJ on Fire Island Pines. So apparently he started there at a place called the Sandpiper, which in 1979 became the Pavilion. And that's where I spin. Incidentally, Gloria Gaynor's song, Never Can Say Goodbye, was the very first number one song on the Billboard dance chart. Some of you may know, I was on the Billboard dance chart with um, one of my other songs called Rewind. Um, and I didn't reach number one, I reached number 18, but not number one. But that was so cool that she was the very first uh, person to be number one, and he, the originator of the remix, Tom Holton, um, produced that song. I thought, well, wouldn't it be great to make a remix that pays homage to that era um, <laughs> where the remix came out of? Um, so uh, I decided to put a 70s disco spin on the track. Well, maybe not that retro. Uh, still being modern and contemporary, um, but, you know, putting it in a whole other place um, than the original version. And I'll let you listen to how I solve my dilemma. <laughs> 